So I've given her a beautiful necklace. I've given her a leopard statue and I've given her a fine dagger. So you've given her the appropriate gifts. Okay. I can let her go uh, now. Yeah. I just love that nobody thought of this happening. Mavari <laughs> Buona, buddy. Women, am I right? <laughs> the old ball and chain. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you're all set here. Um, now you just got to go wander around in the jungle for a bit. Uh, so, you know, did you hear that the leopard uh, man turned out to be a leopard lady? Oh, wow. <laughs> Wowie zowie. She had boobs and everything. I tell you, all the guys, they had their jaws on the floor. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, imagine you're Yasufu and you're like... You feel as if oh, someone okay. is watching you. You're all ready to do the bride thing, and then this idiot comes and just, like, lets her leave. <laughs> <laughs> like, he sounded like he was excited. You sense that you are being followed. Oh, I sense that I'm being... You feel as if someone or something is stalking you just out of sight. Probably fine. You guess whatever it was uh -oh. lost interest. Did I go too fast? Well, you don't need to go anywhere at all. Uh oh. You call out a greeting to the unseen watcher. There isn't a creature in the jungle which has not heard you coming. Good thing you're not a hunter. So, you may have paid the cow people bride price for me, but I'm not your wife. You cannot buy me. Did you think you could win me with a gift? I'm Johari. I will choose my own husband when I want one. I can't be certain. But, um, if it was Arabic, Johari is like, I don't know, like, maybe jeweled or derived from jewels. I am daughter of the leader of the leopard people and a spellcasting changer. Happy! <laughs> okay. We do not know how a cowman found our village, or managed to steal our drum of magic, but he left behind a spear in his hurry to escape. My people did not steal the cow people's spear, as the stupid Simbani seemed to think. It was their thief who took our drum of magic that left it behind for us to find. How can there be peace between the cow people and our people when they stole our drum of magic and will not return it? There has never been mention of a peace mission to my people. Leopard people stay to themselves. I'm the only one who's spoken with an outsider. Are you telling me that we just got El Hazred? <laughs> my people's village is protected by magic so that no outsiders can find it. You tell Johari that you only want to be her friend. I have heard those words before. First you buy me for a wife, then you want only to be my friend. Right. <laughs> You try to explain that you're trying to bring peace between the leopard men and the Simbani. So all you want to do is use me to talk to my people? The only reason you want me for a friend is so I'll betray my village for you? You never wanted to really marry me? What's the matter with you and my ugly or something? <laughs> you try to talk your way out of this. <laughs> Some friend you are trying to use me? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Okay, I wasn't sure if there was anything else to say there. We did all those. Okay. We did the village. Okay. My people are shape changers and magic users and have no respect for those who have no magic power. Leopard men are at home in the jungle. Our magic helps us survive and prosper here. 
There will soon be open warfare between the cow people and my people. They first stole our drum of magic, and then they captured and sold me as a bride. These insults cannot be accepted. My father makes the laws for my tribe. The cow people would be plenty sorry they captured me, for my people would have wiped them out tonight if I had not escaped. My people are shape changers, as you've seen, and our shape is that of the leopard. I know much magic, as do all our people. Those you call the Simbani, we call the cow people since they live like cows. Most of the magic of my people is done through ritual. Maybe someday you can see our magic, if I decide to show you. You sure do <laughs> like to talk. I will go now, so don't bother trying to follow me. I can see and hear you in the jungle, but uh, you will not hear or see me unless I let you. want to see if I missed anything in terms of dialogue. You tell Jahari that you have the drum of magic. Good. If we give it to my father, he'll stop talking so much for. Maybe he'll talk about peace with the cow people. Let's, oh, okay. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Should I not do any of the other dialogue, or...? You can explore it, but, like, uh, give... T basically, the drum is your solution here. Yeah. Whoops! If you don't want to speak to me, I don't want to speak to you. It's still there. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> Alright, I know Good. when I'm not wanted. <laughs> I love how petty she is. I mean, women, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what she is? Am I ugly or something? You know what she is, Suha? She's <laughs> catty. <laughs> we don't know, etc. Alright, that's enough of that. Make friends. How come it didn't da -da ding Oh no, you don't. Get back here and help me figure out what to do. <laughs> it just did that because you're running right oh. now. <laughs> you are one strange man, you know. Why you want peace for my people, but don't even know my people, I don't understand. Still, I think I trust you. You did give me so many gifts. <laughs> the people of magic, my people, do not trust outsiders. They'll be very mad that I bring you there. My father will be furious. You'll have to prove yourself before the people of magic will listen to you. A strong show of big magic, or the gift of the drum of magic will make them listen. Still, you're lucky if they do not kill you on sight. Uh, hey, they may yet. They will kill that Yasufu fellow for sure. They know he's an enemy. If Yasufu had hair and skin like you, my people would not kill him right off. First, they would laugh very hard when they see him. <laughs> then they kill him. Hey, maybe they will kill you too. I'll try to save you, I guess. <laughs> Time to wife. <laughs> if Yusufu was as ugly as you, <laughs> we'd all have a real good laugh before we killed him. <laughs> I mean, she was the one saying to me, what am I, ugly or something? You're very strange. You sleep at night like a cow person. Night is the time when the leopard people are up. Oh well, if you're tired, maybe you should go to sleep now. Oh, no sexy campfire. <laughs> Where's the dirty saxophone music? <laughs> Are you going to sleep all day? We need to go. It would have been cute, honestly, to have them at the, you know, at camp and, yeah. and her kind of watching you sleep. Mm -hmm. You need to be very quiet. Talk all the time. You do not want my people to see you before I talk about you or you will be one dead man. You can see my village from here. It'll be dark soon. We can watch my people do the change ritual. No outsider is allowed to see and live, so do not tell anyone what you will see here. You say you're good at sneaking in and out of places. You better be very good if you think you can get the Spear of Death from my... Oh, you better be very good if you can get the Spear of Death <laughs> from my village. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Johari looks especially attractive. I really can't tell if it's Johari or just Johari. <laughs> 
Either, either could happen. My people use magic all the time. They do not respect those who do not use magic. My people believe that the leopard is the most powerful of all creatures. That is why we become leopards. You'll soon see the ritual that turns our people into leopard men. Most of my village stays up until after the moon starts to go down. We do not go out much in the daytime. Well, my tribe thinks the T-Rex is the most powerful creature. <laughs> From here, you can see the tree houses. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. You, you're, you're in a groove, man. Uh, from here, you can see the tree house of the Leopardman Village. There's definitely the feeling of magic in the air around you. Ooh, there's magic in the air. Yeah, baby. I, I just, this is what you're trying to do. I was trying to hold your hand. Huh? 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 <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> the time has come for the change ritual. Come quietly and we'll go to a secret looking position I know about where we can watch. I grabbed her butt and she kissed me. <laughs> oh my god! I have a wife. It's happening. It's finally happening. <laughs> now, I didn't miss anything, right? No, I just. Um, you have like an option to use the tell function, but usually she interrupts you with a kiss if you do that. Oh. Over here, we'll be out of sight and we can watch what goes on in the ritual. I'm just gonna... <laughs> sure, oil times, so why not? Let's, I just want to see what she does. Well lubricated. Oh, it's all about romance. You start to you talk start to Johari about romance. All you can do is talk about it. Oh my god, I love that she's into it. <laughs> <laughs> now you'll see some real magic. I love this dancing. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, oh, oh shit. Now we're furries. <laughs> Now they're leopard asses. Come, follow me. <laughs> Climb up here. This is the spot nearest to my father's hut. You can see Chewy, our pet black leopard, wandering down there. He's trained to eat strangers. He's always very hungry. You need to be very careful or he will attack you. Well, that's okay, great. I actually have a thief section. Finally. Hell yeah. Uh, no. Well, yes. If you want to get some more practice before you get killed, go ahead. I'll... <laughs> Oh my god. Oh wow, it literally is just letting me go to the Simbani area. That's hilarious. Okay, no, I'm not trying to do that. A very large and very hungry looking leopard patrols the ground beneath the Leopardman village. You try talking to the leopard. Well, now he knows you're here, but you don't get an answer. <laughs> it's a real leopard, not a leopard man, silly. Chewie can't understand you. Thank you for all your help. <laughs> Am I supposed to move anywhere? Well, I think that the prompt here is giving you an idea of what you're supposed to be doing. No, I don't need to do that. You don't need to go practice, but um, it is giving you uh, an idea of what sort of item you might need to use. I don't see why. I mean, I, I, I have an idea. Oh, shit. I am out of food. Oh, man. What's that? You got apples. Yeah, leopards love apples. <laughs> <laughs> like their favorite food. Oh, that's so annoying. Fine, fine, y'all go. I love this convenient little map marker. I don't think you need to leave no, right you now. Don't. Uh You tell Johari how you are oh. going to use a tightrope to get to the hut. <laughs> that sounds pretty dangerous. I hope you know what you're doing. Okay. I see what you're saying now. 
Uh, oh, use the okay. grapnel. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> God. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh no, I can't save Scum. Now, if it's not clear from the interface, you've got uh, a couple buttons for dodging. No, I, I just was hoping I wouldn't have to use it. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I wish that roar wasn't so loud. Okay, I was really pushing the button, but that's fine. There's something else you can do here. Um, so I might be out of luck in terms of uh, that. How I was trying to... I wanted to throw meat to it, but I don't have any. Oh. So I was leaving. So I could go get some, but... Then you have to, like, you know, go through a dozen random encounters. Yeah, but if it will help... Oh my god. I'm so sick of this noise. <laughs> if I don't lose this guy, I'm going to just fight him. This is so stupid. <laughs> Not even a leopard man. Oh, this snake thing doesn't have any shekels. Nope. Do I? Is this important? I think it's just Johari. Oh. Oh. Okay. So you are again calling out to all the monsters in the jungle. Here I am. Come and get me with your noise. You still trying to get eaten or are you looking for my village? You need someone like that cowman Yasufu to protect you in this jungle. Yasufu is a strong cowman who kept saying he wanted me for a wife. He looked almost smart for a Simbani. Shame you bought me for a bride first. He would not just watch quietly when I run away, as if he didn't care. I was caught while I was trying to sneak to the cowman village and take back our drum. It is hard to sneak in the savannah. No place to hide. I know that my people had nothing to do with such an ambush. We did not even know about the mission. Why are we blamed for everything? So the cow people are mad at us for a spear we did not steal, and the lion tours are mad at us for a peace mission we did not attack. I do not know what is going on, but you are right, a war will be very bad. Good, okay. Ugh. Oh no, I... <laughs> oh, that was dumb, okay. Oh, Jesus Christ, oh my god. Uh. <laughs> All right. Yeah. We we may just have to try and muscle through the mini game. No, no, it's going to be better this time, I can tell. Fine, 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 fine. Come die. The fact that I have to wait for the music to end is also like deeply annoying. Okay. All right. Step one.
honestly, just the the incredible annoyance of trying to traverse is probably the only thing that really sours the experience for me. Like, this is so irritating. Everybody loves random encounters, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Great old design. Oh my god. <laughs> Nothing can be easy. No. Okay, I'll get all my water. Time for splat. Time for splat. Kill, 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 kill. <laughs> Murder, death, kill. Destroy. Maim. <laughs> Obliterate. Maul. Slay. I, I feel like for this game, it's a very tired kill, 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 <laughs> kill, kill. kill, kill. kill. <laughs> Yay, she killed it. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray, murder. Oh, no, no. Oh, little guy's waiting for you. I don't know why. When you rescue the mere bat, he can get you some of the fruit um, for you uh, if you don't find your class specific solution. Mm. Don't go all the way up. I've got to stop doing that. I'm sorry. Mm. Here? No, I mean, you. I, no, I mean, like, just don't fine. go all just, the like, way. Just, just yeah. Don't, don't enter the tunnel. Right. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's go buy all the meat in the market from yes. Kal. All Wait, right, was Kelb. It? Oh. Kelb. Kal, Kal, that's Where right. Is... Where One is more he? Down. Okay, I was like, I thought he was here. But no, I'm not Rokes. talking. Rokes, they want to see me jump. <laughs> Good day, Effendi. No, that's, that's okay. Like, I'm here for the meat. David. Oh, master, you, you look like a man who needs meat. Come on. <laughs> Somebody stop me in front of the meat stall. <laughs> <laughs> hello, oh master, hello. <laughs> Oops. Oh, goody, 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 goody. If the good master offers a price, I will accept it. I am most lucky cow in the world. You sure are, buddy. You sure are. <laughs> oh, most magnificent, magnanimous, munificent, benevolent, benef beneficent, malevolent, nonviolent, ultraviolet, ultra liberal lovers of small furry animals. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. May your meat never molder or crawl with disgusting, creepy maggots. You won't regret this. Thank you, 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 thank you. You're so welcome, Caleb. Anyway, now to walk back. Oh, I still be very angry. It's very fine fish. Sure, good bargain. Says I. Okay. It's like never run out of food again. I mean, you never have a day without fish. Okay. No thanks. And now for some nice fruit. Was it this way? Or this way? Oh. This way. There he is. Hey, guess who's gonna make you poor again? Bananas, <laughs> papayas. I'm here to shake you down Oranges? and give you an unfair <laughs> amount for your goods. <laughs> I love the upsetting strangest this, apples in all of Tarna. <laughs> oh, he didn't even insult me this time. He's thinking it though. But uh, I mean, I I bought fruit, but okay. Oh, you know what? I am a clown, and I keep thinking of, that I had grapes, but what I had was that fine thing. Yeah. And I keep thinking, oh, I want to buy some grapes, but I can't. Okay. Oh, fuck yeah. Hell okay. yeah. 
We've hit our <laughs> first skill cap. Yeah. Amazing. I mean, agility is good at least. Okay. Oh, it's probably too soon for me to sleep, isn't it? Yep. I don't think I should be allowed to sleep whenever I want. I think that's true in real life as well. <laughs> God, just walk all the way over here. Wow, is that a bunch of meat in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> Why can't it be both, baby? <laughs> oh, does not just... This lady really, really dropped the whole act about having some more hava, Fendi. <laughs> well, I've got a wife now, so uh, you lost out. Oh my fucking god. Honey goat eyes with almonds and rice. Because it, it's got to be weird. Yeah, it's got to be eyeballs. <laughs> Goat's eyes are a delicacy among the people to the north. You understand that, like, if the goat's eyes are the delicacy, nobody's going to make an entire dish of goat's eyes. <laughs> and, like, ugh. Also, I want to imagine, you know, that uh, we're from the north and <laughs> just, like, um... <laughs> They're just making up what's actually a, a delicate dish. <laughs> They're just fucking with me. <laughs> Blondie's back. Give him the weirdest stuff we've got in the cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to order fucking goat size. And the best part is, to this guy, rice and fruit... And goat's eyes, honeyed goat's <laughs> eyes, are equally weird. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no giraffe elephants today. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> Here's your feast, may it please you. The goat's eyes are strange, but they smell delicious. They watch you the whole time you're eating them. <laughs> I like how they pop. Oh god, too much, too much. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that was delicious and uh, only a little strange. Alright, time to start our commute. Oh, uh, is it worth bothering about the tightrope? Or do I have what I need? You've got plenty of agility. Okay, so that's not the issue. Uh, the issue is just that if we don't feed the uh, Panther, then yeah. we have to actually play the Kluji uh, minigame. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Random encounters have never made us so weary. <laughs> I know. This is literally most of the game at this point. Man, I feel like if we hadn't had to backtrack so much to, like, beat this game's cranky, clunky old arcade sequence, <laughs> we'd probably be around the end game by now. Oh. <laughs> yeah. The rest of this is going to go pretty quick. Well, you forget also that there's going to be one more commute um, before the very end. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> Please. No, no. I just... Oh, I didn't sleep all night, did I? No. No, okay, we've, we've been in a rush. <laughs> Uh-oh. It's actually not looking good for me. Well, you got water and pills. That's <laughs> it's, it's all anybody needs. <laughs> <laughs> the hero's just chugging five-hour energies. Yes. Well, she'll, she'll escort you the rest of the way. Good. Yeah, okay. Here we are. Still, yes, I'm still trying to get eaten. Thank you so much. You know some magic too, huh? You cannot make the lightning jump from your fingers and go where you command, can you? Oh, shit. I did not think so. You'd like to learn how to make lightning ball? 
It'll help you stay alive in the jungle. I'll teach you since you look so helpless. This is how to cast a lightning bolt spell. Woo! Nice. Well, thank you. All right. So this well, might be like one of the few magic spells you've actually obtained as uh, a partial magic user. About time I got something out of this marriage. <laughs> 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 I love that she's like, oh no, you don't, buddy. She's like, I got, I got to get this recording session done. Come on, we are walking at escort mission pace here, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> now the stuff in the jungle is scared of her, so you're, we're fine now. Good. It's actually a pretty clever way to get out of having another random encounter. <laughs> you need to be very quiet, Tuck, all the time. Are we getting another kiss out of this? I better. All you, all can, you do can do is, do is talk, talk about, about it. it. But baby, I... <laughs> mm. <laughs> I love that she, like, kind of is into me. Like, I'm ugly and weird, but also she's like, into it. That's great. Mm -hmm. My hair and skin are hella- oh. Oh, this is new. Johari, why have you brought this outsider to our village? Oh, sorry. This outsider is a very important person. He has important things to say. You have no right to bring this outsider to our village. Outsiders are the enemy and he should be destroyed. He is not our enemy. You must listen to him. Okay, hero man. You show my father why I brought you here. Whip out your dick. <laughs> <laughs> you greet the Leopardman leader. Why have you come to our village, outsider? You tell the Leopardman leader that you have brought back the drum of magic as a symbol of peace. Now, wait a fucking minute. Did I do all that for nothing? Uh, you still need the spear to get the Simbani uh, but, pacified. But I don't get to do the tightrope now? Behold, a drum of magic. Uh, I think you can still sneak in. Did I skip that? Um. <sighs> I, I didn't... I spent so much time walking back. <laughs> and I think I'm we will still have an opportunity. Okay. Now it's your turn to speak. Tell about Shabir. You should tell, tell about Shabir. Shabir. <laughs> Not that <laughs> dummy. Talk about the spear. You tell the leopard leader about the horrors of war and ask for the spear of death in order to bring peace. Okay, okay I guess it will allow you to bypass the thieving section. You journey back to the Simbani village. David? A stranger once came to the Simbani. This stranger spoke of peace. There can be no peace, said the Simbani. The stranger came back to the Simbani village. He spoke of peace again. There can be no peace while there is an enemy, said the Simbani. The stranger went to the enemy. The stranger then came back to the Simbani. Came, come forward, stranger. Show us the symbol of your peace. <laughs> Behold, the Simbani spear of death. Behold, the stranger has brought the Simbani the promise of peace. Now the Simbani can speak again in Tarna. Now the Simbani can speak again the words of peace. You travel with Rakish back to Tarna by way of the magic portal. The next few days are spent arranging a peace conference between the Simbani and the Leopard Men in the Hall of Judgment. At last, the day of the peace conference arrives. Did I just beat the game? No. Okay. You have been watching the conference for some time as they introduce everyone. It has been rather boring. 
The Council of Judgment of the Land of Tarna now calls forth the Libon of the Simbani to speak before us. I, Libon of the Simbani, am speaking before you as leader of my people. The Simbani and Leopardmen have always been enemies, because they suck. The Leopardmen steal our cattle by night, they use magic against our warriors, they are sneaky and not to be trusted, and their food tastes very strange. <laughs> The Libermen stole from the Zimbani, the symbol of Zimbani power, the spear of death and power. Something is not right here. I feel that something terrible is about to happen. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, uh oh. My friend, cannot you see the sign of the demon leaving the body of the Leopardman leader? King Raja is furious at these actions. This is terrible. My friend, you must leave Tarna immediately before Raja declares a state of war and the gates of Tarna are shut. Seek out the demons in the lost city and I will join you if I can. Go quickly. Oh, fuck, 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 You quickly leave Tarna before things get even worse. The Yakety Sax starts playing. The intended route for the thief is to uh, get the uh, spear back by stealing it. Now, see, that makes me even more upset because that is what I was trying to do. See, normally I have like 1,000 pieces of jerky in my pocket, so I've never encountered this particular circumstance. Well, I, I did I did have a bunch of meat. Like, I, I didn't yeah, realize I, I was guess eating you all of it. consumed all of it. You know, without your strange food, you've just been just munching on your jerky this whole time. Ooh, you are no longer welcome fuck. in the Simbani village. God damn. Uhura. Oh, hey, buddy. Manfriend, Manfriend. Manu, very happy to see Manfriend. Manfred like Monkey Village. Manfred very happy in Monkey Village. Manfred go to Monkey Village with Manu? Uh, yeah. Monkey Village, good place. Manfred come see Monkey Village. Manfred like Monkey Village. Manfred very happy in Monkey Village. Manu very happy with Manfred. Well, hell yeah, little buddy. Uh, just to see what that looks like, <laughs> I guess. Oops. Mano very happy, man friend. Like Monkey Village very much, Mano and man friend. Go! Man friend, no go. No go to Monkey Village. Mano very sad. Man friend, be very <laughs> happy in Monkey Village. Aww. Mano very happy. Mano convince friend. <laughs> Okay, we have to, we have to, it has to be canon that I just say yes. Mano very happy, let's go, Monkey Village! <laughs> All right, another escort. <laughs> man friend like village, good village, just like man's village. Yeah, just like man's village, but with monkeys. Hurry, hurry! Manfred C. Good village. I cannot believe I was cheated out of the thief solution. <laughs> and I literally cannot, I don't have time to go back and do it. <laughs> Monkey folk live here all the time. Big village. Oh, passing right through. It's also the insult to injury of all the time I wasted coming and going to do that. You like, you see, you stay, be happy, monkey. Sure, buddy. <laughs> Manu, teach you, you be monkey man. You be hero of monkeys. You know what? At least someone appreciates me. <laughs> see, their village, big village. Very good. You know thing? Oh, I so think. Mm. 
Man who looks like a monkey, smells like a monkey, and mostly acts like a monkey. You greet the monkeys. Three people happy to see man friend. Happy, happy. You tell the monkeys goodbye. No, 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 no. Not, not see village. No go before see village. Come and you see village, then go. Oh, okay. Let's say hi again. <laughs> Three people. <laughs> Very happy you here, man friend. Quick, quick, quick. Come see village. You near center of village now. Go up. Come up. Come up. Go up. Come up. You see. Three people very happy to see man friend. Man friend, good. Jungle not safe for man friend. You need village and be safe. Come, see village. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. <laughs> this rules. <laughs> That's interesting. That's interesting. You see your good buddy Manu. You're sitting on a very comfortable bed of leaves. You say hello to Manu. Hello, man friend. Very good to see you. Man friend, good friend. Manu like fruit. Oh, okay. None for you. Hello, man friend. <laughs> Well, I'm so glad we can sit here and do this. <laughs> Man is on the far left. Do you want to converse with him? Oh, there we go. Okay. Monkeys happy all the time. Eat, sleep, groom, fervor, fleas. Many, many things to do in Monkey Village. Band friend be very happy here. Monkey Village very safe. No bad things here. Monkeys, monkey babies, and man friend here. All happy and safe. <laughs> bad things are very bad. Eat little monkeys. Many bad things. Now, Manfred keep all bad things away. Manu very happy. I, I'm good at doing that. City not lost. City very far away. City have lions with man's body. City in small plants with no trees. You know lose city. You find monkey village. Village now home for Manfred. Awesome. Great. <laughs> You talk very bad things with big claws and bad breath. No very bad things here. Far, far away. Very bad things near big rock water that falls down. No very bad things here. Oh, I love that. Big rock water that falls down long time from here. Monkeys know the way. Monkeys know secret monkey pass cross. Big rock water that falls down. Monkeys very smart. Genius monkeys. You, you guys so are. I love it. <laughs> Monkey Pass, only way to cross big rock water that falls down. Monkeys run from bad city. Monkeys run from bad mans with long arms. Monkeys find Monkey Pass. Monkeys make Monkey Village. Now, Monkey's very happy. That is a lot of monkey. <laughs> <laughs> bad mans with long arms live in big city. Bad mans with long arms not happy. Very bad things make bad mans with long arms fight all the time. Monkeys happy, bad mans with long arms unhappy. Bad mans with long arms very mean to monkeys. How could they? Mano very happy man friend here. Now Mano have fun with man friend. Show man friend good time like swing from branches and crash into tree. Good game. Great game. <laughs> <laughs> you tell Manny that you need to go to the bad city. No go. No go bad city. Bad city, very bad for Manfred. Many very bad things there. Eat Manfred. You try to convince Manu to take you to the lost city. Bad place. Many very bad things. Manu not go bad city. Manfred not go bad place. <laughs> you try to persuade Manu to guide you. No go. No talk Manu to go bad place. Manu not hear Manfred talk bad place. Manu not see bad place. Manu not go bad place. Oh, am I being kicked out? <laughs> Bad place, lost city. Maybe we go back to Monkey Village? Maybe no? <laughs> you, you see, very bad place. Then we go home? S 
Sun not up. Manu, go sleep now. Night, night. Sun up. Manu up. Man friend, go back to Monkey Village now? Manu, very sad. <laughs> Manu, go to Bad City with Man friend. <laughs> you, you see, very bad place, then we go home? Monkeys not forget very bad place. You see, then we go home. I love that I'm not saying anything. He's just <laughs> asking me all these things. Place of big water. Uh, monkeys remember place to cross. Uh, many bad things on other side. Go home now. All the monkeys across. You cross. You very big. You know jump good. How man friend cross big rock waters that fall down? That's a great question, buddy. You see the place the monkeys call big rock water that falls down. This only place to cross big rock water that falls down that monkeys know. Monkeys crossed long time ago to get away from bad city. No bridge across big rock water that falls down. Mano across monkeys. Monkeys across. No, no, but no bridge across. Monkeys jump across all the time. Manfred, no jump across. Mano not know how Manfred get across. Don't you worry about it, buddy. Do <laughs> you scoot? No go. Manfred, no go back. Monkeys go home. Monkeys, no come back. Manfred, no go here again. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> okay <laughs> as you tumble toward impending doom you remember an old adage never jump something longer than you are tall unless you are a grasshopper wow well I love that gif <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that def nice You recover the rope and magical grapnel and put them away in case you need to use them again. Wow, look, I finally got to use them. Very bad place. No good, Manu not happy. Sorry, buddy. Bad thing! Very bad thing, run! Oh, this thing again. The battle begins. Demon. Nice. Oh, hell oh. yeah. Is that your first magic spell? Yeah. All right, do I rule or do I rule? Come on, guys. <laughs> Good, good. Manfred, kill ugly, very bad thing. Manfred, very brave. Manfred, very strong. Manfred, very happy. Manu, very happy. Manfred, very beautiful. <laughs> Long time, men lived in Lost City. Now only bad things. Monkeys remember. We see bad things, we run away, yes? Go home. I got you, it's fine. Bad thing, bad thing, very bad thing. We go home now, not go Lost City. Bad city there, we go now, back to good monkey village, safe, we go now? You shake your head no. Bad place, bad things. You not get in bad city. You not find secret door only monkey knows. Manu not tell secret. Manu not let bad things get man friend. We go now. That is so cute. It's okay, buddy.
Many long times ago, monkeys live here. Monkeys remember. Monkeys know all about Bad City. Monkeys know about Secret Door into City. Monkeys know where the secret door hides. Look for man with jackal head. Put eye that glows in head. And door opens. Look for man with jackal head. Need to put glowing eye in hand. In head. Then secret door open and Manfred go into bad city. Eye that glows fits right in head. head. Comes from head. Fits in head. Monkeys get into city all the time with eye that glows. Manfred use eye that glows to open secret door. Bad things all around Bad City. Bad things all in Bad City. Very bad. Bad things eat Manfred. Little Manu very sad. Manu not happy. Manu very sad. Manu friend go to Bad City be eaten. Manu not see Manfred again. Manu cry. <laughs> you try to tell Manu about honor and why you have to go to the Bad City. Manu no honor. Manu have much honor. Manu not happy. My honor get man friend dead. Wow, I love this monkey knows about honor. <laughs> you say goodbye to Manu. Manu very sad. Not say bye bye to man friend. Manu not want man friend to go. Manu not go bad place. Bad things eat little Manu. Manu very sad. Manu want man friend come back to monkey village. Manu not want to say bye-bye to Manfred. Oh, that's who I was fighting. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're gonna have to make some changes here. <laughs> Straight into the points. I like it. Oh, I made it. Okay. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the apple of its eye. <laughs> Damn it, I was really hoping that might work. You see a relief carving of the Egyptian god Anubis. It seems to be missing a stone from its eye. You want me to uh, give you a little guidance here? Yeah, just just for the sake of time. Oh, fuck. Uh, for a thief, the point of interest on this screen is going to be the statue. Okay. Oh my god, that is powerful. What do you mean think again? Why can't I rob him? <laughs> That's right, I am a badass. <laughs> That's interesting. Also, please please drink some of your peace water. Oh, am I doing bad? That's your regular water. Yeah, your stamina is pretty low. Much better. Oh, we're good now. A health pill probably wouldn't hurt either. Yeah. I'm so glad I had so many. Okay, there we go. Much better. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, that kind of rules, and I'm a little mad I haven't been doing this before. <laughs> Fire Opal. The round, smooth stone seems to glow in your hand. Hey! Check it out! Secret way! 
Thanks, Manu. Yeah. You're a good I only monkey left friend. two dead bodies. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. This get real boring. You know that, Frack? Frack seems to nod his head. All we ever get to do is guard the door. Big deal. Nobody can get to this door for us to beat up. Boring. Frack nods again. All the other guys gets to beat up Dapes but us. We gotta guard the door. We never get no fun. It sucks. Let me guess this one is Frick. <laughs> <laughs> Frack's head nods in agreement. All I want is something to beat up a bit and bite the head off. Is that, is that too much to ask for, I asks you? I kind of love him. Frack keeps nodding. He must be the strong, silent type. Then again, he might just be the very stupid type. Frick is one yep. ugly demon. <laughs> he seems to be somewhat more intelligent than a kumquat, which is more than you can say for his companion, Frack. This is the demon Frack. Judging from the eloquence of his conversation, you guess that he is even stupider than Frick. Thank you for all your help. The demon Frack is absolutely a soul's boss. Oh, God damn it. Well, reload. Right. Oh, yeah. Fucking lets me. There we go. See, I thought he was pointing at me, but it doesn't seem like he was. Did that sound like a noise to you? It sounded like a noise to me. Frack nods. Now, what could have made a noise like that? A mouse? Nah, we ate all the mouses. Frack nods. The prisoner? Nah, all she does is snarl if you rough her up. Frack nods. The door? Nah, we're guarding the door. Frack nods. I give up. What do you say we look? Frack nods. Well, what do you know? It was the door. And look, I got a human to crush, kill, destroy. You go get the guys while I get the guts. It's clobbering time. Frack nods. Big old butt. Oh, I didn't think I was going to be able to kill this guy. It's not the intended solution for Thief, but it's completely doable. Frick is one ugly demon. Now that's one dead demon. Okay. Not that. There we go. Oh, okay. The door is your point of interest. Oh. The door is locked. Not for long. You definitely picked the lock. Guess who forgot to oil the hinges? I know. Oh my I god. <laughs> <laughs> Finally got you with that one. <laughs> well, I haven't been doing any fucking thieving. You carefully lubricate the door hinges with some oil, just as it said to do in the last issue of the lockpicker's log. Thank you, Zetuni. You definitely picked the lock. Boring, boring, boring. This job is the pits. The prisoner never tries to escape since the last time I beat it up, and nobody gets past the gods below to get to us. I tell you, it's boring. Frack nods sadly in agreement. <laughs> Suha? You, you're not a demon. Who are you? How did you get in here? You tell the lion tour what you are doing here. My name is Dr Rishaka Darkresha. I'm a warrior of Tarna. You must be a powerful warrior yourself to have made it here. The demons enter this world through a gate at the top of this tower. If we can destroy the world gate, we can defeat the demons. Oh. Oh. Greetings, human. My master sends his regrets, but he's too busy to speak with you right now. 
I have taken over the body of this creature. All harm done to me will harm her, and she is the daughter of my master's enemy, Rakish. Now I shall destroy you, and you shall destroy her. I shall win both ways. You see that Rishaka has been transformed into the shape of a demon. Oh, we can't talk? Okay. Fool, fight or die! <laughs> zap, zap, zap! And just on cue. This is a bad ending now. <laughs> uh, this is a doomed state. Wow, hot ladies from every tribe. <laughs> So if it's a doom state, then should I just reload immediately? Like there won't be anything special, or I, I think that what, really Rami? like theme song. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Robbie's here. <laughs> Everyone's here. <laughs> Yusufu's like theme song is the Awari board game theme. Oh my god! Everyone's here to witness my shame. <laughs> Rishaka. By the power within and without, may you be healed. Oh. Krisha opened a portal as soon as she could locate my friend here. We came as soon as we could. Your friends, young Prince of Shapir, did not want you to face the danger alone. Hey, don't look at me. I'm no hero. I just came because I didn't want to stay in Tana. I ain't fighting no demons. The prophecy I had from the Temple of Sekhmet said that five from very different lives will stand beside each other to face the darkness. Rishaka, will you fight at the side of the Prince of Shapir? Of course, Rakesh, my father. Even though fuck that guy. I am sorry, my friend, for if Hamar Harami does not stand by your side, I fear that the prophecy cannot be fulfilled. No way. No way I face a demon. Then I guess, my friend, you will need to face the demons with only four different friends. Ahura and I must stay here to stand off the demons that are trying to follow you. That's the doom state? Actually, I think I'm incorrect. I thought that the game would... Uh kill you for attacking Rishaka. I am going to reload, though. Mano here! Mano come! Help man friend! Not let bad things get man friend. The prophecy is fulfilled, for four different friends now follow where the hero leads. A monkey? That's supposed to fight demons? Give me a break! How's a monkey supposed to help? Mano very brave! Mano fight bad things! Mano help man friend! Harami, never reject the offer of friendship and help. Man who has great courage and loyalty, and with that he will aid our friend well. The way you must all go lies through that blocked door. I sense powerful demonic magic behind there, so be careful. By the power within and without, that door shall open. Go quickly. The demons are trying to get in here. Ahura and I will fight them off. Kwaheri, my friend. Kwaherini, all of you. Good luck. Hurry. Oh my god. You find yourself drawn <laughs> to the mirror at the opposite end of the room. Good lord. There we go. Got him. Oh. Oh, I thought there would be more happening than this. <laughs> well, we'll still see slightly different dialogue here. Okay. Everybody gets their theme song. Only your hottest friends. <laughs> exactly. And Rami. <laughs> this really makes it sound like he's the secret bad guy. <laughs> he also just looks like some guy from Jersey. Like, I wish they had tried <laughs> to make him look a little bit Arab. Just a little bit. Oh, maybe the... Maybe it's not different. Of course, Rakesh. I'm sorry. No way. Wow. I can't believe it's exactly the same. Wow. I 
Harami is literally just here to uh, be a, a jerk. <laughs> I've always thought this bad guy was so fucking creepy. But you don't like that? He just looks creepy as all hell. He looks like a melting man. No, that's awesome. I just... Why isn't my magic working on him? Hmm. Good question. This is concerning. Oh shit! I'll fight this monster! You gotta run! These things can't really be defeated till you take out the demon wizard. So make like a hero and save the day! Now take these pills I borrowed and scram! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Here, take these pills. <laughs> As you run up the weird spiral staircase, you take the healing and mana pills Harami handed you. Our plan worked, Lord. Even now, our enemy Rakish is in disgrace, and the Lion Tour warriors march out from Tarna. The Simbani idiots and the Leopard Men fools will all avenge their murdered leaders, and they will all blame Rakish and each other, not dreaming it is our doing. My armies of demons and ape men stand ready and waiting to attack the warring lion tours, Simbani, and leopard men when they are their weakest. With the magic released from the depths of so many beings, I can open the gate once more and allow you to enter this world, my lord. David? Hurry, I grow impatient to again taste the power of killing things. Ah, yes. The orb is still weak from the amount of energy it took to possess the Leopard Man Chief before the peace conference. It took great skill to kill the Lysimbani Liban without anyone realizing the Leopard Man Chief was possessed. Fool! Restore the orb's power immediately! Shut up, dumbass! <laughs> yes, my lord. I will start the ritual right away. This must be the world gate Kresha told you about. You realize with horror that this must be the demon wizard who injured Rakisha's leg and nearly destroyed Tarna a few years ago. This must be the world gate. <laughs> this is not a good place to practice throwing. <laughs> <laughs> Behind you, idiot! Is that interfering human? So, you have escaped from my trap. Perhaps destroying you will be more interesting than I thought. Your bones shake, break, rattle, and roll from the power of the demon wizard spell. Maybe you'd best avoid calling attention to yourself in your next life. I love that you had to chuck three daggers at him to hit him. <laughs> Look above you, fool! That meddling human is going right over your head! So you've escaped from my trap. Perhaps destroying you will be more interesting than I thought. You think such a thing could harm me? You are a bigger fool than I thought. <laughs> huh? 
How about some peaceful water? <laughs> How about some oil? <laughs> <laughs> what about regular water? I don't have I think those any, are just I empty. Think. Those are empty. Hmm. Wow, I never needed this. Wait. Would you like this? Still not going to work. I can sense that your throwing skill is pathetic, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting cooked and you're just tossing rocks. Well, this is concerning. The demon's wizard's magic is protecting the orb. You may need or you need to take care of him before worrying about the orb. I just, I can't fight him. Correct. Money, dagger, thief, dagger. We already said that doesn't work. Meat, fish, rocks, oil. Is there something I should focus on here? Um, well, what got you over here? The... the grappling hook, but... Okay. What can get you out of your immediate situation? Oh. I did not even realize that was the thing. <sighs> you think you are above my wrath? Let us see how high you can walk without that rope. We just try clicking on the opposite pillar. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> God, this is music just excellent. I, I was just thinking, like, <laughs> thank God they picked the best track for this sequence. Listen, like, we got a whole, like, six seconds of a loop. There you go. Now oh, I okay. have you. Prepare to die, worm. Your last remaining grapnel finds its mark. The demon wizard emits an unearthly wail as the magic grapnel embeds itself deeply into the creature's inhuman flesh. Wow. You run for the stairs to return to your friends. That was very anticlimactic. <laughs> <laughs> man friend, man friend, happy, happy you come back. Man friend, come back. Welcome back, my friend. Habari, hero. You made it, huh? The demons were drawn back into their own world when you closed off the world gate. This land and all its people are safe, thanks to you. Missouri, friend. I not be knowing how much longer Rakesh and I hold off the demons. A good fight much better went over. You are a good man to be fighting at my side, friend. Now my people and the cow people will have peace because of you, hero. I'll name Yusufu's son for you. By the way, we're totally getting married. I know you didn't see that coming. <laughs> what? What? Remember that thing we... Okay. You said you wanted to marry me. I accept. It is an honor to meet and serve you, friend. Man friend very brave. 
Hey, good kid. What the fuck <laughs> is this? The, oh. This is dark magic. Bashir Al Hajri. <laughs> I love that he knows me as uh not that, but oh. To oh, be continued really? in. Quest for Glory 4. Shadows of Darkness. <laughs> That's sorry. what you said last time. It's totally sick dance. <laughs> <laughs> Look at their old friend, Adavis. Oh my god. I, <laughs> I, it just happened so fast. Yeah. I do feel the ending here is pretty abrupt. Uh, not my favorite. Um, they didn't I do build like the it idea. Up at all. <laughs> like, and maybe I'd be less annoyed if I hadn't been cruelly denied. The, you know the shit that I <laughs> spent all that time trying to do. But like, suddenly demons, and now here we are, and everyone's here, and now we're getting married. Okay, bye. Like, yeah, they spend the whole time. Like someone... They spend the whole time talking about this leopard men Simbani war, and then it just abruptly ends, and now it's demons. Like, it feels like someone came in and was like, you guys, you guys, fuck, finish, just get it out the door, <laughs> like, like halfway in. Um, there, there's a lot of, like, foreshadowing and incidental optional dialogue Magic. about the demons possessing people, like the hippos and the river. I mean, they talked the about whole... the red eyes and stuff, and I thought that that was going to come in eventually. I didn't realize it was just going to be kind of hinted about, like. So, yeah, I for, for me, Quest for Glory 3 is the most uneven. I do think that, like, you know, the jump to VGA is nice and like, uh, but also like I, I get a little frustrated with like the we spend a lot of our time in the overworld fighting and yeah. um, I, don't, I don't feel like the Simbani or even the Leopardmen get too much of a chance to shine despite being the central focus. Right. No, the, we literally just met the Leopardmen and then... <sighs> god like i it's not that i didn't enjoy this game because i did but this ending like it completely changed the experience like i was like enjoying myself and then it suddenly became i can't go anywhere because of the fighting and now it's over like it just it just needed a little more time it's a very rough ending now we may have to go back and maybe grind a little bit for uh the next game yeah. but um we're we've done good here um, save file has been created we'll see you again yeah. soon in quest for glory 4 shadow of darkness shadows of darkness quest for glory 4 shadows of darkness I can't wait for quest for glory 5 shadows of darkness <laughs> okay this is cute although I can't believe they have the nerve to use this music for their ending <laughs> That's cute. Um, yeah, I will be off for a little while, so I am looking forward to more Quest for Glory later. And, uh, you know, hopefully next time I see you guys, I'll be on the other side of uh, <laughs> having a baby. So <laughs> Yes, uh, Sue has got some big changes coming for her soon. So um, we're recording this with hopefully several weeks um, worth of stuff for you before the big day. Um, but uh, depending on how Suha's feeling, we might have a special guest or two fill in while she gets back on her feet. Who knows? Uh, but Quest for Glory will return because David and I have waited 20 years for somebody to play Quest for Glory 4, and we're not going to fucking miss it because it's the best. Oh my god, I can't believe it's your, your guys' favorite. Is this next one? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. Yes, so you'll be coming back on a great note. I can't wait to find out who Bashir is going to become. <laughs> so, s very kind of Rakesh to use my uh, new name. <laughs> <laughs> with the uh, with the first three oh, games down, <laughs> Suha, how do you rank them so far? You know, I think it might be two, one, three. Yeah, well, that's kind of scary. <laughs> um, I think it might be two, one, three because one was cool. But two, the whole Adavis thing, the inn where people treat me like a hero. Like, mm -hmm. yes, I don't love the overworld with the desert, but I... And I guess there was a lot of waiting, but I just... I have more emotional attachment to two 
just because the kata were so sweet yeah and i felt like i was treated the way i would want to be treated when i've been saving these people you mm -hmm. know like it's nice to feel like people are like no my friend you don't pay here like that was nice uh i don't know the kata are just really really charming i feel like if three would have lived up to some of the promise um some of the promise early on of like the world building and stuff i think it might have gone a little bit higher for you yeah, although to be honest with you, um, I think also the African setting is really, really rough. Oh, like, yes. As, as, as Orientalist as 2 is, that's kind of still my <laughs> sort of thing. I feel like it is a lot harder to overlook when it's like fake Africa. Like it just feels like too much. Yeah. Especially with the way the Simbani talk. Like it's like, ugh. Yeah. Yeah, it's unfortunately something that we still see today from time to time. And yeah, like my, my speculation is that um, since um, three wasn't originally planned, uh, at least not to take place in uh, Tarna, uh, like that, the maybe the structure of the bones for the story here suffered or um, again, it could have just been like crunch um, because like Sierra cranked these games out uh, back in the day. Yeah, um, but um, I do appreciate, you know, us getting to see the lion tar culture and all of that. Um, and it, it does get to make the world feel like a much larger scale because like, um, like Shapir and like, uh, Spielberg were very local. They're very, they did feel like much smaller scale adventures, even though you do go to two major cities in, um, the second game. It's just weird because we, I feel like they put so much into Tarna and then the game just gets smaller as you go forward. Mm -hmm. Like, you get to the Simbani village and it's two huts. And then you get to the Leopard Men and it's one encounter, maybe. Like, <sighs> I mean, generally speaking, I don't know about how they used to do it, but you don't really make video games just in chronological order. But it really feels like as they were working, somebody took, like, yanked the rug out from under them. And were like, okay, you're done. Like, wrap it up. <laughs> It's very possible. We did it. We did it, gang. I I am really relieved that we did it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining us. Um, we hope that you've been enjoying Quest for Glory. Uh, again, we'll be on a very brief hiatus from it, but David and I will figure something out for what comes next uh, in the interim. Yeah. But. Um, until then, thank you all very much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Uh, save early, save often, take care of yourselves. And um, yeah. Yeah. And we go back to Monkey Village. Yes. <laughs> take care, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.